Tip 7 Implement the adapter class Okay, so let's now build the uh, adapter in our class Okay, so let's start in here Let's call it movie adapter which must extend, by the way, the adapter class in the recycle view. Now, this class must also contain another class, which is a class that must extend the uh, view holder class. Okay, as you can see, this is uh, colored in red because the uh, this inner class is not created yet. So let's create that by uh, clicking Alt Enter and create class. Okay, this class here, the movie adapter, must contain three methods. So let's fix that again. Alt Enter, implement methods, and the methods are, as you can see in here, uncreate view holder, unbind view holder, and get item count. Click Enter to that, and the methods are all now created for us automatically. Of course, we will have to implement them ourselves. So the cl this class must first extend the recycle view 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 holder class so let's uh, okay to that and then next now this class must have a constructor so let's fix this automatically using alt enter alt enter create constructor and here we are okay right okay so first of all and let's link this method to the uh, to this, which is to the movie list row layout. Okay, let's do this. So let's create a view object. Let's call it just item view, and then equal to layout inflator dot from, and the contest is main activity because this is the class we're in. Movie. So main activity dot this. Then dot, and we are going to select this method inflate, which accepts three parameters as you can see the resource and a view group and a boolean, which is true or false. So let's select the first one and uh, r dot layout dot movie list row, comma parent, comma false. Semi. Okay, and so next let's return an object of this class okay so let's call the constructor let's uh, let's create an object of that class so return movie uh, view holder and let's pass the item view which we have just created in here so let's go again to this class which is right in here we are in the constructor right now we need to have the some properties in here which is by the way exactly the same as these once the question is the issue is in here where are we going to uh, display the movie name obviously in a text view and the movie genre text view and the movie uh, in a text view and the movie image name obviously in an image view so let's copy them all okay copy that let's go back to the main activity and let's have them in here obviously we need to change so now we are talking about the views in here so the first one is going to be text view let's copy this three times okay sorry in here and the last one is image view okay and let's now modify the names okay so i'm going to replace the m in there with dv which is shortcut for text view and capital m okay let's copy this three times i'm going to do the same thing in here same thing in here and for here the shortcut for image view is IV but then capital M for movie image name right okay and so in here let's first of all uh, try to find the properties which, is, which are in here which is by the way passed to us in this object here and let's assign them to these uh, properties in there, these fields okay so TV movie name equal to item view by id dot find view by id r dot id dot tv and select name okay let's duplicate this line three times two 
3, 4. The second one obviously is going to be the, the movie genre. And the third one is going to be the movie year. And the fourth one is going to be the image name, which is an image view, by the way. Okay, now let's, let's now uh, collect these ones. The second one is movie genre. So let's select TV in there and select movie genre. The third one has to be the movie here again, TV, movie here, and the third one is IV, which is the uh, IV mo uh, movie image. All right, okay, so we're done in here. Let's go back to the uh, unbind view holder. Okay, so the first thing is go we're going to do is we're going to create an object of this, of the model class, which is the movie class, the movie, and then equal to and by the way we now need to create in here a list of objects a list of the movie objects okay so let's create list movie okay so let's onboard this class automatically by clicking alt and enter and then movie list equal to new array list okay so movie list dot get and fortunately we have the position right in here passed to us by this method so position now since we have access to the model class we can assign all of these properties and of course we can access them we can access the, these four properties since we have an object of the movie view holder class okay so let's do this holder dot the first one which is tv movie name dot let's set that uh, movie dot get movie name right so let's duplicate this line a few times two three four and the second one is going to be obviously TV movie genre. And get movie genre. The third one is the movie here. So let's get the movie here. And I can tell you right now in here that this method set text only accepts strings. Okay? And get movie here, it obviously returns an integer. See? It returns an integer. So let's convert this into strings by just simply saying plus double quotation. That, that should be sufficient for us, okay? We don't need to complicate it more than that. And then how about the next one, which is the uh, image? Now this is interesting, okay? Because we cannot obviously use set text. So in here, we need to, to use set image resource. Now notice that set image resource accepts an integer, okay? So even if we want to use uh, movie dot get image name, this my friends return a string, so we cannot use that. So let's fix this. So in here, let's, let's declare a local integer. Let's just call it resource ID equal to get resources dot get, and we are going to select this one, which accepts three parameters, as you can see. Okay, so let's select that. The first one is going to be the image name. Why is that? Because in here in the drawable folder, we've actually stored the images using some image names, as you can see in here. Okay, so comma in here. Let's just write in here drawable. And finally, the third parameter is let's get the package name. Right, okay. So that that would return to us an integer, which we can, by the way, use in here. You notice the link, that in here we've used the image name, which is stored in the model class. And now, this is completed. Good. Right, next, okay. The, let's, let's implement this method, which is really easy, which basically gets the number of items in the uh, movie list in here. So let's have a very simple if statement. Let's say if movie list dot size is greater than zero, which means if it has at least one item, return 
the movie list dot size otherwise else uh, return zero okay and as you can see now my code is not properly formatted so how do we automatically format our code so let's let's for example say this one was in here and this one was in here okay but how do you do this well first of all control uh, command a select everything control a in windows and then you'll have to use this combination control alt i control alt i okay and now our code is automatically and nicely formatted for us okay all right so that's done